If you're running out of storage space on your iPad, I wanna show you a few different ways where you could clear up space right on your iPad. First, let's go to the settings app on your iPad because we need to find out how much space we actually have available. And if you go to the general tab here and you click on iPad storage under general, it's going to give you a chart of how much space you have in total and how much of it you've used up. So I actually just went through this process before recording this video and I cleared up ton of space. So all this dark gray is the empty space. So yours might be filled up. So what do we need to do to empty some space? Let's go through some of the settings. You could go about this in two different ways. One is just taking the Apple recommendations and then there's some manual options I wanna show you as well. So what Apple is going to recommend here, let me press show all, is going to recommend that you offload unused apps as one of your options, which I'm gonna show you how to do. Basically, this will remove any apps that are not being used that are taking up a lot of space. So I recommend you enable this and this will help you down the road. Then you could delete old conversations. Typically text messages with a lot of attachment takes up a lot of space. So you could go ahead and enable this here. And if you have any downloaded videos that are large right here, I have a gigabyte of downloaded videos. It will bring it up. Now these are from Netflix and I could go ahead and just delete them this way. And just like that, I emptied up another gig and a half of space here. And if you have large attachments, typically with text messages, you may get large attachments like this. You could go ahead and delete those as well by just basically doing this to the text message. Now, a lot of devices, if you go down the list here of the more manual approach, photos and text messages typically take up the most amount of storage on any device. And if you have a lot of apps, you'll see apps here and a bunch of apps are gonna be labeled here. So again, you could offload apps. I could offload this app specifically to save up this much space. Don't delete the app though. Offloading it will give you the storage, but it will keep the data here. So I will still have every data that I had on my phone or on my iPad. So if you're gonna use the app again, just offload it. And then when you offload an app, it will still show the icon here and you just tap on the icon and it will re-download the app back for you. Now, if your problem is photos and videos, this is what I recommend you do. I recommend instead of storing your photos and videos locally on this iPad, you actually use iCloud instead. So on the left side, under settings, if you click your name on top here, you could go to the iCloud option right over here. And this is what I have stored in my iCloud. This is basically everything that is not on this iPad that I've backed up to Apple iCloud. You could access iCloud using your different devices like this or from iCloud.com. So what I recommend you do is either upgrade your iCloud and then you could take everything off. This is how I basically have a full iCloud and an empty iPad. I turned on photos. So I made sure iCloud photos is turned on, optimize iPad storage. And now everything goes in my iCloud version of photos instead of the local one. So I don't have that much on my local, but as you can see, I have a lot over a hundred gigs of videos and photos under iCloud. And I also have almost everything else turned on here to back up to iCloud. If you want to turn on messages here too, then you don't have to worry about messages taking up a lot of space. So go through this list and turn on as many of them as you want to empty storage from your iPad and put things on iCloud. Again, by default, you don't get 200 gigs. I paid extra and I pay extra every month to get this. So manage storage here and you could upgrade yours as well. And you could see my plan is 200 gigs and you could see all the different things that take up space there. Now, this is also related to my iPhone too. So it's iPhone and iPad. They all go to the same iCloud here. 100 gigs of space. I have my backups here and everything is being backed up. What I recommend you do if you want to just empty your storage on your iPad. I hope you found this quick video useful and I'll see you next time.